Hello crafters, thank you very much for tuning in my channel. Uh, today I am super excited about this project. I have, um, I'm going to show you how to make a drawstring purse. So what you're going to need for this, uh, of course a crochet hook, a pair of scissors, some grommets, Um, I also picked up some cotton multicolored yarn as well as some solid color repurposed yarn and um, I picked the moss green colored yarn from um, Hobby. Also, we're going to be needing three can tabs. And a chain for strap. So this is a diagram of what we're going to be needing for this project. I wanted to have a granny square look, but I didn't want to make granny square, so I made it into diamonds and triangles. So you need four of these multicolor triangles. One, two, three, four. So if you need to know how to do triangles and diamonds, please check out my other videos to instruction. Uh, again, you'll need four of these solid color one. And I also decided to make the same multicolored uh, diamond as well. And you'll need four of those, two, three, four. You will also need four solid colored um, triangles. Okay, one, two, three, four. You will also need a circle that's eight inch in diameter. So to make this circle, you're going to start with a magic ring and work six single crochet into the magic ring first round. Second round, you're going to increase every stitch. So that means you're going to have 12. And in the third round, you're going to increase every four stitch. So round four, again, increase every fourth stitches. And uh, for each round, you keep increasing every fourth or fifth stitches. And if you're starting to get the roughly look, that means you have increased too many stitches. So keep working your circle until you have about uh, one that's about eight inch in diameter. Okay, so now that we have all of our diamonds and triangles, we're going to line everything up together. Uh, so this is a little tricky. Uh, you'll need to pin them together before you uh, start stitching them. So make sure that you line them up like the diagram I had earlier and uh, pin them together before you start stitching them so you're not going to get mixed up. Trust me, because I have mixed it up so many times, but then again, you're not me either, so. Okay, a good idea is just to uh, stitch them onto the opposite side, so this way you have a nice diagonal um, panel. So once you have your diamonds and uh, triangles stitched together in a panel, then you stitch the panels together. Okay, so when done, you're going to have the colors lined up across, like the um, diagram that I had. So once that's done, turn it uh, right side up and uh, we're going to make a tube out of this panel 
to make the tube, we're going to fold the one side over and the other edge, we're also going to be folding that together. So make sure this is wrong side out so that you stitch that together like in a diagonal manner. Once your tube is done, then still with the wrong side out, we're going to be stitching the bottom of the purse or your circle to, to the tube. So make sure you section off so this way it will be stitched on evenly. Next, we're going to be add the lining to it. So I have made this lining out of uh, upholstery material, and I made a pocket here for your phone, and the other one is a zipper pocket for change or whatever need that you need to. So with this, we're going to slide that into the crocheted part. So turn the bag inside out, so this way you have the wrong side out. And uh, insert it into your crochet bag. Here you can stitch the lining to the crochet bag. Okay, and then now we're going to prepare the can tabs. So what I did was I just wanted to wrap the yarn around the tab. So here I'm going to wrap it in the middle of the tab. And um, keep doing it until you don't have any more aluminum showing. So we're going to be using uh, two of these tabs for the side of the purse so that you can hook your chain uh, strap to it. And one of the tab I'm going to be using it, uh, doing it in the moss green so that I can use a stopper for the drawstring. Okay, until you have no more aluminum showing, then you can kind of, uh, you can crochet around it. Okay, so, so to crochet, basically just pull the yarn over and make sure the yarn is wrapped around the aluminum. So insert it through the hole and pull the yarn through and pull the yarn over. That's how you would cover. That's how you can cover the, um, the, the aluminum. So keep doing that all around. So this is what it would look like once it's done. Make two of those in that natural color and one of them in the moss green. So I have made a uh, moss green drawstring and uh, this is how I use the stopper, put it in there. It's actually quite nice looking, turned out better than I thought it would look. <laughs> and that's from that bottle, that, that um, can tab. So with our grommets, 
what I did was that I put four of them on. So to, to, to do that, you just put uh, on a solid surface and one piece behind the fabric. Okay, and then put the other piece over top and uh, gently tap. So you put the other part on the grommet tool, put over top and just use a hammer and just gently tap it. But make sure you test it on the other material first before you use it on your actual project. So I like using these grommets because it gives a rather uh, a nice finished look to your bag. So with the other two tabs, we're going to sew them onto the side of the purse. So place them on the side with one half showing and the other side and just use your needle and stitch it on. I'm pretty happy with this purse because I think it's turned it, it had turned out a lot better than I expected. Um, the color if you could change the color and use different color or you can make it solid too. It's our personal preference, right? Don't forget to check out my how to crochet diamonds and triangles video. I will leave you a link at the end of this video as well as the description box. So once your tabs if um, once your tabs are stitched on, then you can put on your chain and I put some uh, I, I decided to add some tassels to the side of the chain just to give it more of a fringy look. So if you decide to make this purse, please leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing, or better yet, post a picture of your project. Thank you very much for watching my video, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so that you can get notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.